If you were to call any member of the Porsche 911 family unloved, it would be the Targa. But Porsche wants to change all that for the latest 991 model, and it's looking for inspiration from the very beginnings of the Targa model, way back in 1965. Unlike the glorified sunroof of the 993, 996 and 997 models, this one has got a stylish rollover hoop and a rear wraparound windscreen, just like the 1965 original. But back then, you'd have to take the roof off yourself, and then you'd have to find somewhere to store it. And that's not something people these days would like to be doing with their £100,000 supercars. So instead, Porsche has come up with a slightly more modern solution. With the Cabriolet 911 already in the range, you're probably wondering where the Targa fits in. Well, it's around £600 cheaper than the equivalent cab model and about £8,000 more than a coupe. If you want rear-wheel drive, forget it, the Targa only comes in 4 or 4S variants. Ask Porsche who's going to buy it and they'll admit that one of the Targa's most appealing virtues is its styling. It's certainly not the purist's choice. It's 110 kilograms heavier than the coupe and it's even 40 kilograms heavier than the Cabriolet. So what that means is in this car, which is a four with PDK Sport Chrono Plus, it means a 0-62 time of 4.8 seconds, which is a tenth down on the Cabriolet and three tenths down on the Coupe. Now to call a car like this slow would be really unfair. It's not slow, but it's just that low down in the rev range, the engine doesn't have quite the urgency that you normally expect from a 911. You have to really ring it out before you get the acceleration that you're after. But on the plus side, it is a 911, so it does still sound really nice, especially with the roof down. Minor criticism is you can't get the roof down when you're on the move, you have to be stationary for that. But Porsche says that on the plus side, when you're on the motorway, this car is almost as refined as the coupe. And that's something we were doing yesterday, we were on the motorway for quite a long time. And I haven't driven another 911 for months now, but at no point did I think that it really needs to be any quieter. The handling is what you'd expect from a car that's 110 kilos heavier than the best 911. It's just lost that final edge, that final sharpness that you normally expect. And it's not helped by the fact that Porsche has deliberately set it up to be a bit softer. They know that this isn't the car that people that want a real performance 911 are, are going to go for. This is more of a comfortable, relaxed cruiser. So what exactly is the point in the Targa? It's not exactly filling a gap in the 911 range. It's just more of a tradition, really, but this is a tradition that looks and works better than it ever has done before. So should you buy one over the cab? Well, that's a question that probably comes down to personal preference more than it does anything else. For what it's worth, I'd probably go for the Targa, but whichever one you choose, you're guaranteed a great soft top sports car. Click on the video windows to watch our review of the Aston Martin V12 Vantage S or the Jaguar F-Type. Click on the red play icon to watch our very latest video and the Auto Express logo to subscribe to our channel.